Hello everyone and welcome back to Freckle Finance. If you don't know already, my name is Shayla and today my video is going to be on my 2017 financial goals. I hope everyone enjoyed their holidays. Hopefully everyone got some time off work to rest, relax and spend some time with family and friends. And here's to a hopefully great 2017. If you're new to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button below. I do videos on personal finance, financial independence, and lifestyle videos often related to financial independence with some of them just my lifestyle. So here we go. Here are the goals that I am setting in place for 2017 and here's hoping to accomplishing all of them. So the very first one is the big goal of the year and that is to buy a house. Now this is much more complicated than you would think. We are in the US on a visa and that can have issues with getting mortgages or just the mortgage rates being too high. So we haven't fully looked into all this, but if everything goes well in that respects, we should hopefully be buying a home. I will say that we do have a 20% down payment and we have money to cover any closing costs that we would need. So that's not something that'll get in our way. It's just the whole, we're not permanent residents here and we want to make sure that it's not a stupid decision and that we're not just going to buy a house because we really, really want one. But hopefully it's the right decision. The next goal is to be deemed a non-resident of Canada. Now that seems kind of like a weird financial goal. How is that related to finances? But I've mentioned before in a previous video, the tax rate in Canada is higher than what we have to pay here in California. If we are deemed non-residents, we no longer have to pay taxes to Canada, which means we actually get more money to ourselves, which honestly it will make things a lot easier if we do buy a home. It would be a lot tighter to have to pay that money back to Canada because it can be a significant difference. So the third goal is to figure out how to keep utility bills low. If you saw one of my videos, you know that I mentioned that our electricity bill was high. That one is in our control. We want to know how to get our trash, sewage and water bill low just for when we do own a home and we're paying it ourselves that hopefully it will be less a month because we, you know, it's about 250 for the, sa the trash, sewage, and water, and about 175 if we heat our home to our comfort level for electricity. And that's just so insane. That is way too much money. And I'm hoping that we can find a way to get it lower. If any of you have tips, let me know. We can try them out, especially if you're from the California area. Last year, I had some spending related goals and this year is no different. So if you watched my 2016 goals update video, you will know that we did not go to Hawaii and why. So I'm adding that kind of as our goal for this year now. And the one great thing is that going from California to Hawaii is a lot cheaper than going from Toronto to Hawaii. We were actually thinking we could try to do a cruise and hopefully research to see when the cruises are the cheapest and when we can get maybe last minute good deals. We, we don't want to spend a lot of money going on cruise, but we've never been on one before. And they do have cruises leaving from nearby to Hawaii. And that would just be the perfect way to experience both Hawaii and a cruise. And we hopefully won't have to pay the hotel bills in Hawaii directly because we'll be paying for the cruise because those are so expensive. And the last goal is to find inexpensive hobbies in, that I like in addition to the ones I currently have. If you're new to my channel, you may not know that I am here on a dependent visa. I am not allowed to work and that means I have to occupy my time somehow, but I don't want it costing us an arm and a leg. I am part of a book club and a biking group and there is a group of girls that do get together once or twice a month uh, to hang out and generally there are other women in my position. But now that I am more settled here, I know that it's not enough at this point. I need something else to occupy me during the day. It can be a little boring at times. I will be letting you guys know when I accomplish these goals. Unlike 2016, there's not really a purpose of giving monthly updates because these are just goals that when they're met, they're met and when they're not, they're not. And for anyone who's curious as to why there is no savings goal, we are planning to save. I just don't have a way to express the savings at this point. Um, his income is paid a lot differently than before and so I can't really express it that way. However, I will still be giving financial independence goals when I have them. But at this point, there hasn't been any concrete direct changes. 
I hope you all have a great 2017 and remember that no matter what your financial situation is, make sure to have a great day. Bye.